Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be a little bit different to the way I would normally do an SMP episode. However, this project that I undertook was much bigger than I had originally expected and planned for. Let's uh, start in the beginning, shall we? I log onto the server and I see a gift. It appear that I have a present waiting in my house. And it would also appear that it is from Endavar and it says happy mining. Let's take a look. Ooh, wow. <laughs> This is an amazing gift. Huge shout out to Endavara for providing me with this present right here. This is something that I actually really, really needed. Endavara has kindly provided me with an enchanted diamond pickaxe with Fortune 3 on it. He heard I had issues finding diamonds and well, now I have this. Also, Raven returned two diamonds from when I purchased the Deep Slate from him in the last episode. Turned out in the chat he lowered the price without me seeing it. Thank you, Raven. Now armed with my brand new PX, I went to my mines and I did a mining session for one hour. And well, this is the result. Over one and a half stacks of diamonds, bunches of pun bunches of pun bunches of redstone, plenty of lapis, almost two stacks of gold and uh, 20 raw iron, but, uh, but still, over one and a half stacks of diamonds. And of course, all of the deep slate, that is so awesome. And the pickaxe durability isn't even down. Like, like it, it's it's still up. End of R. Thank you so much. After my mining session, I now had well diamonds, which meant I could move to step two of my plan: shopping. You see, for the project I want to make today, I'm going to be needing some items that I don't currently have, such as iron and slime. I may also have bought an elytra so I can get around easier. Now I had to find a suitable location for my project, and by now you are most likely wondering what that project is, unless you saw the thumbnail. But for those of you who didn't take the time to look at the thumbnail, which I spent my precious time to make just so you can ignore it, I'm making a bamboo farm and shop. As you may know, we are in 1.20, well, as it's clearly stated behind me by the trees and the, the house. I think bamboo blocks will be in good demand. After flying around the shopping district for some time, I finally decided where to place my shop and farm. So I got to work. Now, you may think that after the time lapse, the farm was complete, but no. You see, outside of the time lapse, I discovered multiple flaws with my design. One, I had to add more powered rails because when a hopper minecart is full, it gets heavier and therefore slows down a lot quicker after passing a powered rail. Afterwards, I also had to install more hopper minecarts, as I realized one minecart only has five slots and wouldn't be able to pick up a lot of the bamboo, which means it would eventually despawn due to the unloading times. And speaking of which, one issue that still exists is the fact that unloading the minecarts takes ages because the hopper is so slow at unloading. But for now, I think it's fine. Now, with all that done, I can finally AFK for an hour to see how much we get. And after one hour of AFK here at the bamboo farm, we are going to go into the employee's only door, 
please ignore the mess. All of this will be changed uh, soon. Uh, more on that later. But we have about a full single chest on every single row. And that's one, two, three, and four, and five rows. So that is basically two and a half, uh, two, two and a half double chests, which honestly is not too bad. But let us now take a look at how many blocks we're actually going to get from all this. It's actually going to be quite a few. And the final bamboo, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, forty-seven, eleven and forty-seven stacks. Not bad. And I also have this chest right here, which is what I had from all the testing and throughout the building process of this entire thing. Yeah. I'm quite happy with this. So all that's left to do now is take a bunch of this and then show you the shop and farm. So this is the final project as you saw in the time lapse here. And uh, well, I, I actually really like the build and how the there's glass on the sides and whatnot, but I also really love the entrance. And we should also see this with shaders on. I forgot to turn them on, but there we go. So let's walk up these stairs. Welcome to Bamboo-tastic. Yeah. That that's the name I could I could come up with. But anyways, as you walk into Bamboo Tastic, you are greeted with signs and cool things. So I wanted to this glass here so people like the customers could actually come in here and see the produce that they're actually buying, how fresh it is, how well it's it's growing and stuff. Um, but to the left here, we have some prices and some signs and whatnot. We have 64 blocks of bamboo for one diamond. That's these right here. And we have 64 blocks of stripped bamboo for two diamonds. And you might think that that is a little bit expensive. And well, for good reason. It uh, to Basically, what I have to do in order to sell one stack is um, do this. Yeah. It takes quite a lot of tool durability and quite a lot of time as well. So that is why I think two diamonds per stack is, yeah, fair. Now let me just go through this right here, that right there, the obsidian and the observer, that's the receiver of the flying machine that actually starts from over here. And I've made a little bit of a bamboo growth detector, basically my own kind of timer. But instead of the traditional old redstone uh, timer, I have made this. I planted a bamboo down here, so it's basically almost the same uh, when it comes to height as these guys. So when this grows up, triggers both of these observers and one of them destroys the bamboo, so resets it down to zero. And this basically turns on or triggers the flying machine, goes all the way over, and then it comes back again. Then the hover minecarts are doing their work, just like this. And they come in here. This detects that stuff is going through the hopper, stops this powered rail, unloads the minecart, and boom, we're good to go. And that is basically the entire process. And now, I have a lot of bamboo to strip. Oh boy. Now real quick, like I said, this is not going to stay looking like this. It looks awful. I know it is disgusting. This is disgusting. I've used cobblestone and everything. I hate it, but I'm going to revamp it on a stream. So if you don't follow me or on twitch.tv slash binary vigilante, I highly suggest that you do. Also join my Discord server because I announce there when I go live as well. But yeah, when I revamp that, it's going to be on Twitch. And why? Well, that basically sums up what I'm about to do. I am going to go into this box and uh, <laughs> I'm going to run out of actually I need I need a new axe first. I need a couple of axes actually. I also really need to do something about this this, uh, this here, because it is a mess. There we go. Three new iron axes. I know it's not going to be enough, but it's what I have to deal with right now. Uh, when I wish Minecraft had some automations. And there we go. 18 stacks of stripped bamboo. Not too bad. It took about 20 minutes or so, and I think that is definitely worth it. So with that, we're ready to start selling. We're ready to open. Take a nice screenshot. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for this episode. This has been, like I said in the, in the beginning, a lot bigger of a project than I had originally expected. I still need to make a path, still need to uh, clean up and stuff like that. But again, 
Follow me over on twitch.tv slash binary vigilante. Top link in the description because, yeah, I would love to do some more streaming. So that'll be over there. But just before we end off, there is one thing that occurred, which I have not mentioned yet. If I just go over here, you may find this cobblestone building. And well, one of these fellas spawned and a bunch of skeletons. And I ran for my life because, uh, yeah, I couldn't deal with it. But uh, yeah, if I get a saddle, which I don't think I have at the moment, I can ride with style. But for now, you, you stay in there. I mean, I have to admit, I think it looks pretty cool from above as well. Can I get a flying in screenshot for the thumbnail? I think I got it. Maybe. I can't I can't take this with oh I can't take this with me though. This I will take with me. Because it, it is a bit of an eyesore. And screenshot. Perfect. Time to head home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. I have stuff planned for the next one. It's going to be exciting. I'm very excited because we need to expand the house and we get to see how many diamonds our shop makes, if any, that is. But guys, like I said, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss when I upload next. And also be sure to check out all the other Ramblecraft members down below in the description. I think I should install a water elevator in my house. I think that would be more efficient than having this ladder, I think. Anyway, let me just quickly grab my potatoes. And as I'm planning them, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.